Hello, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to check if a file exists on the ASP32 SPIVS file system. As target board I'm going to be using an ASP32 Fire Beetle board from DFRobot. So, to get started, the first, uh, the first thing we need to do is including the spivs.edge library, as we have been doing in all the previous uh, spivs tutorials. Uh, so basically you can have access to the spivs extern variable that allows us to interact with the, sp with the spivs file system. So we are going to write the rest of the code in the setup function. As usual, the first thing we are going to do is opening a serial connection to output the results of our program, and then we are going to mount the SPIFS file system because we always need to do this procedure before we interact with the file system. If this procedure fails, there's no point in trying to um, interact with the file system because it won't work correctly. So assuming that everything goes fine, uh, the next thing we are going to do is creating a, a file in the file system to make sure that we have a file there so we can test uh, if this file exists and see what is returned by the method that we are going to, using, to be using. And then of course we are going to call the same method to check uh, what happens when we try uh, to find a file that does not exist. So the procedure for this was already covered in, in a previous video tutorial. I'm going to leave the link in the, in the description. But basically the first thing that we need to do is opening the file. And uh, basically we need to pass as first argument uh, the path to the file. So I'm going to call this file test.txt and it will be created in the root directory. And then we need to pass this uh, a second argument, this constant indicating that we are opening the file in writing mode. So, after we have the file, we are just going to do here a quick check uh, to see if there was no error uh, opening the file for writing. And then we are going to write here some content so the file is not empty. And after that, we are going to close our file so it uh, is saved in our file system. So, from this point onward, we should already have in our SPIS file system a file called test.txt in the root directory. So, when we are checking if it exists, for this file it should return true. So the procedure to check if a file exists is really really simple because uh, the spiffs uh, variable exposes this method called the exists that basically does, does this. Uh, it receives as input a path to a file as you can see here in the first in the first uh, uh, block of code, I am basically checking if, if the file that uh, we have just created exists. So basically, this method receives the path to a file and returns a boolean value uh, indicating if the file exists or not. Naturally, if it returns true, it means the file exists. If it returns if it returns false, it means the file does not exist. So in the first test that uh, we are going to do. Here in this line we are testing, as I've already said, uh, for this uh, file, test.txt, uh, we should exist because we have just created it in the previous block of code. So uh, this function called should return true and then we are directly printing it to the serial port to later check the results on the serial monitor. Then we are going to do the same test but passing as input of the exists method a path to a file that does not exist because we have not uh, created this file in, the, in this code and I'm assuming that you don't have um, a file named like this in your file system. Um, so this second uh, exists method call should return false. And that's it, it's very simple. Basically, as you can see, it's just calling a method from the spiffs extern variable uh, and we should be able to determine if a given file exists or not in the spiffs file system. So I have already uploaded the code to my SP32 as usual, so you don't have to wait for the procedure. Now I, I'm just resetting um, this and as you can see here, in the first uh, line of, uh, in the first line that is printed, it indicates that the file was indeed printed, um, it was indeed written to the file system. As expected, our text test.txt uh, was written, and then uh, the next sentence where we check if the test.txt exists, it returns one, which means uh, it is a, a Boolean true value. So indeed the exists method indicates that this file exists on the SPIFS file system. And then for the second use case where we tested against a non-existing file, it returns zero, which means false. Um, thus indicating that the file that we, we were testing does not exist. And as you can see, it's very easy, it's really trivial. Um, and the code is really simple. So basically these two statements do this check. The rest of the code was just to create a file and to mount the SPIFS file system. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed.